Local 4 News begins right now with a breaking news alert. Glad you're with us here at 6. Lamar Monson has done a lot of time, but new evidence cast out on whether he committed that crime. An emotional day. Um, as you can see, this looks like maybe some family members who um, are speaking to the media right now. We have a crew there on the scene. Jermont Terry is working uh, to get some more information here on this story. And let's listen in. Innocent. And somebody else would have to pay for this. You got to go through How does another it feel trial to hold your son right now, Miss. I feel like I'm in heaven. We, we good. No. I feel like I'm in heaven. I feel like I'm in heaven. What's the first thing you're gonna? What's the first thing you're gonna do? I'm gonna yeah. get on my face before God and thank Him for what He's done and how He sustained me and how He's kept me. Right. Now we're now live on Channel Four and all the other stations right now. But the fact of the matter is, what do you want to say to the people who have truly? back you all of these years, Lamar. Uh, you know, I'm very definitely thankful to everybody that's been in my corner all this time, that trusted and knew that I'm not the type of person that would do something like that, and knew my character, knew what kind of family I come from, and I'm just thankful that they always backed me and kept me throughout these 21 years. There's still a family looking for justice. What do you want to say to Christina, the, this young lady's um, family? Well, I hope that they are hopeful that justice will be done for them and, and right. the, in the process moving That's forward. Right. And we're looking forward to that, too. That's something that we, we urge and we're praying about. So hopefully that can come to pass sooner than better. What do you do today? You're out now. What do you, what do you plan on doing the I next I just want to go, go home and spend time with my family. There's going to be a whole lot of tears, a whole lot of snot, and we're going to love each other. <laughs> what have you yes, missed the most? Yes, Lamar, what have you missed you. the most? I've missed everything, everything. <laughs> his Mom, children. He missed again, his truth. daughter. He missed his granddaughter that he's that, never that seen before. Be like what do you think it's going to be like? It's going to be like heaven. Hey, like heaven. Yes, it is. Like Obviously, heaven. you relied on the Innocent Project, but let's talk about your faith. Faith in God, obviously, that is what you really relied on. Sure, all and the that's time, what correct? has brought definitely, him back. Definitely, Faith he's the one God. that's kept me at peace. I knew that this day would someday come, and I've just been hopeful because I knew it wasn't in my hands, but it was in His hands. So I trust in that. That's where my faith lies, and I stand on that with everything that's in me. Take us back to that moment last this week when that judge said, "We're going to grant you this new trial." There's something there. Take us back just, to that moment. I was just uh, thanking God because of the, uh, just the kind of peace that He had in my heart from the beginning that this day was going to come. And that's what kept me sustained and kept me hopeful. And to see that come to pass, man, I, I just can't express it with words. It's just a blessing. When we got to go when, now. When, we, we really got to go. When you know go. that you're innocent, yeah. you don't have nothing to worry about. You might spend some time in prison. People might talk about you, put you down, and say you did this and said you did that. But don't nobody really know what you've done but God. Man, or say anything. Tomorrow we'll let you go. But are you angry right now at all? Oh uh, no, I'm not. Uh, I'm no, not angry. No, not angry. I, I angry didn't. I didn't got over that. Please. I didn't got over me being angry or unforgiving. You know what I mean? I understand that. Uh, this is the way the system is right now, and I, I'll probably talk more on that a little bit later. But right now, I just want to get home with my family. Right. Yeah. All right. Good to see you. And that was uh, Kim and Devin. That was obviously um, him walking out. We're gonna just follow this video through. As you heard him say, he's excited to be out. Uh, most definitely thankful to the Innocent Project uh, to, for helping him out. Now, someone did um, post this $25,000 cash bond. They are not revealing who that individual is, but as you see, he's has his um, he's hugging Mr. Bill, Bill Proctor right now with the Innocence Project. He's getting in the car with his mom, who most definitely has been by his side, one of his strongest supporters for the last 21 years. She said all along, all she wanted to do was give her son a hug. Today, she's in the back seat with her son. He's out, and she's able to hug him all night long as they now prepare for yet another trial, if that actually happens. But this, this is the breaking news. This family has been gathering inside the um, the um, county jail all afternoon. They've been waiting for him to actually come out. And when he just stepped out just moments ago, you saw the elatement from his mother, not to mention um, Lamar himself. I just want to show you this picture. And, you know, this is a this is what it's all about. A man who obviously new evidence revealed that he potentially was not involved in this murder. You're looking at him right now. He has a smile on his face. He's giving out so many hugs. Now, the man that he's hugging right now is someone who's related to the Innocence Project. He was actually, um, this individual was actually um, in prison for many years and also got out thanks to the Innocence Project. So he can most definitely relate. This individual will be somewhat of a mentor as Lamar tries to readjust as he um, is now back on the streets after spending more than
than 20 years in prison. But again, that's the very latest is breaking news development. He's now leaving, heading home with his family by his side. As you heard his mother say, he just simply wants to most definitely be there and give a hug to his family members, and including his children. As um, This is very latest. And um, I want to also point out that he mentioned that he also has some concerns and prayers for the 12-year-old's uh, family who was murdered back in 1996. Lamar uh, Munson now out. He's saying that he's most definitely hoping that that family will find justice because he believes that he is not the person that committed this crime back in 1996. That's the very latest reporting downtown with breaking news. I'm Jermont Terry, Local 4. And you heard it live and raw right here on Local 4. It sure friends. was. And again, it's worth repeating. Uh, what we're watching is not exactly an exoneration. Uh, we will have to wait to see whether there is another trial exactly. coming for this. And as uh, Jermont just uh, mentioned, there's the other side of this story is, of course, Christina Brown's family, which now has uh, a new mystery on their hands about how they go forward. All right, terrific work there, Jermont, and more coming up yes. on the reaction to this later on tonight. I loved his legs. It's going to be a lot of tears and a lot of snot as he gets back together with his family tonight. We'll have more coming up. Jermont, thank you.